Wait for it. Yeah! Hey, hello Spurs fans, Paul Hotspur Hippie here, the only psychedelic soccer show on the internet. I hope some of you are well. Some of you probably are feeling a little bit of pain at the moment. Um, I'd like to start off by uh, acknowledging the traditional owners of the land from where I'm streaming today. It's the Wallamadigal people of the Eora Nation. Uh, pay my respects to their elders, past, present, and future. Recognise that sovereignty wasn't ceded, always was be, it always was, and always shall be Aboriginal land. And we have a little bit of news today. Oh. <laughs> Some uh, Euro qualifiers this morning. Uh, Georgia went through against Greece on penalties. And I've just watched this game. I watched the second half. Unfortunately, it's bad news for Wales. It was a hell of a game. It was a hell of a game. Um, just in the last five minutes of uh, injury time, Poland started getting on top. But we can't forget, I mean, from my eyes... That referee, man, oh, he didn't want Wales to win. He really didn't. Uh, some really ropey decisions there. But unfortunately, Wales went out in a penalty, penalty shootout. Last kick out of the five, you could, see, you could see the guy was nervous. Saved by the Polish goalkeeper. And the last one, Ukraine is through, beating Iceland 2-1. So commiserations for Wales there. Hard lines, better luck next time. But... Uh, I think authority was against you. Not the first time that's happened, is it? Henry VIII and all that. Anyway, that's enough of that. All right, let's see who we got in here. Where's my background? Why is my background not showing? Oh, <laughs> what have I clicked? Mm -mm -mm. Says it's there. Hang on a minute. Why isn't it? Why is, why is my back? There it is. Is that it? Is it doing so? I don't know what it's doing. Hang on a minute. Let's fix this and then I'll get on to it. Here we go. Let's do that. And then uh, that. Do, do, do. There we go. Oh, whew, the void. The celestial void has been uh, restored. Now, I'll just kick my camera a little boot. There we go. That'll do. All right. Here we go. So, in the chat before I got my act together, JSY, JSY talks football. G'day, man. How you going? Hey. And then here in the normal chat, Mr. Hippie. It's not Mr. Hippie. I'm Mr. Hippie. <laughs> I've, I've just been watching football, man. My, my brain's all footballed. Uh, Mr. M, Mr. Hippie. Hello, Mr. M. I was listening to some uh, old Scar the other day. Who came up? Baby Come Back. Who was that by? I've forgotten. Forgotten, but they were good. Johnny Bestnell Green. Evening, my brother. Might as well bang one up. <laughs> you might as well, man. Ah, poor old Wales, man. They put up a good fight. They put up a good fight. But it wasn't to be. Shamu Vandavu on lunch eating some KFC. Not a sponsor of the show. As no one is, <laughs> I'd be sponsored by KFC. I mean, if prime athletes are, maybe I could, uh, you know, fill out the rest of their demographic. Come on, KFC, you know, it makes, makes sense. Give me some food. 
I just noticed the music's not even going on in the background. What the bloody hell's going on here? Uh, I don't know. It's all it's a ropey old stream. This one should move Andrew. Four hours to go. Long weekend. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's um it is. I forgot about that. Cause I don't I don't adhere to your earthly calendars, so I, I these things pass me by a bit. But all right, long weekend. Uh, that means it'd be a good day to work tomorrow because everybody would be finishing work and going, ah, i got four days, I've got to enjoy myself, ah, into oblivion and beyond. Mr. M, lol, wa, guan, paul, ya, good, ya. Don't make me say words like that. It makes me say, I didn't even try and put on a bloody accent there. Shit, sorry. <laughs> Oh, fuck it. I mean, whoops. <laughs> oh, that's it. It's all gone to shit now, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. M. <laughs> Cray the Gecko Man, bail me out, man. Good morning, hippie. Some exciting shootouts this morning. Yeah, well, I watched the, I watched, I watched the Wales Poland one there, man. Uh, I feel for the Welsh, you know. It was a good game. It was a real. It was. I, I was. It, I was entertained. I was entertained by the uh, by the game. Two sides giving it a lot. Referee was definitely out of order on a few occasions. Wales had a really good penalty shout. I mean, yeah, he wasn't going to quite get the ball, but he's, he was yanked and pushed over. And then right near the end, I don't know. The referee gave a yellow card to this guy. It was his second yellow card for for no, nothing. 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 Just to give uh, you um, Poland a, a free kick right at the death. Johnny Bethnal Green, old KFC was the best. This new KFC is paint rank. I can't remember the difference, man. All I, all, the biggest disappointment I had with KFC was I was doing a road trip across America and me and my mate stopped in Kentucky. Not stopped, but we drove through it, foot down. Um but we thought, let's have some KFC in Kentucky. Nah, it wasn't open. It wasn't open. So we didn't have KFC in Kentucky. Very disappointed. But KFC doesn't stand for Kentucky anyway now, does it? It's probably just... Kuh. Mr. M, I started all, I've, I've already started Paul Lowell on the drink. There we go. That's it. Firing up. Firing up. Paul, did you watch the watch in Gerland game? Did you watch in oh the England game? No, fuck no. <laughs> Why would I put myself through that, man? It's a friendly. I'm not gonna. Nah, I'm not interested. I want oh yeah, the Euros. I've uh, sorted out my subscriptions now, so uh, I'm watching football legit now. I've become a responsible member of society. Um. So I, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll watch the I'll watch a lot of the Euros. I'll probably do some watch-alongs as well. You know, um, it would be either that or trans baseless transfer speculation throughout the uh, close season, won't it? There we go. Johnny Bethnal Green, Magic Bustanoid Chicken, MBD Chicken. I bet, uh, I bet any chicken they had on that bus would have tasted like, I don't know, golden lightly sautéed swan with all the trimmings. Oi, oi, Mr. M, I'm Roberta Strinkies. All right, there we go. Let's see. I'll do a cursory glance, see if there's any Tottenham news. Maybe something exciting's happened. News. Oh, they're still kicking up a fuss about them playing in Australia. Still kicking up the fuss. Daily Mail's at the forefront. Who'd have thought that? Daily Mail. Mild-mannered, reasonable Daily Mail. Trying to kick up a fuss, a bit of nationalistic fervour. Sod off, Daily Mail. What do you know? Uh, what else we got? Injury update? Oh, we got an injury update. Let's have a look at this. This is from Yahoo Sports. Let's see. See if there's any actual news news. Mickey van der Ven. That's the main one, isn't it? Do, 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 do. 
Potential return date, March, April 2024. No details, it's just nothing news, isn't it? Man or Solomon. Potential return date unknown. Fraser Foster, April, Ryan Sessignon. Unknown. His contract's up at the end of the summer. Should I do a poll? Would you renew Ryan Sessignon's contract or not? <laughs> Chicken discussion going on. Chicken was after my time. When I was here, I, I only remember just getting a McDonald's on the way up. There we go. My camera's jittering again. What's going on here? I don't don't like this. Birds are tweeting. It's a beautiful day out there. What the news is going on. Do 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 do. Nothing. Hey, well, no news is good news, eh? Wouldn't it be nice if when you turned the TV on and there was news, and the news you heard was, because they can do this now, they've got the technology, geolocation news. So anything that's happening, say, further away than, I don't know, 20 kilometres from you, you don't get to hear about. Because why, why do you need to know? So it's just stuff within 20 kilometres. You just start, and they say... Bus was late. That's about it, really. Vandal drew a tag on a bus shelter because the bus was late. That was it. That'd be great. Why don't they do that instead of showing me news from the other side of the world that I can't do anything about? Anyway, tap dancing long enough. My chat is buggering up left, right and centre here. But I can see Welsh gals in here. Ah, uh, Welsh gal, man. I watched the second half. There we go. Where is it? We need a little bit of this, don't we? Why not? Welsh gal. Member of the Hotspur Hebe Commune. How you feeling, Welsh gal? Borodar, Paul Wales went to penalties but came up short. A good run. Good effort from Johnson and Davies. Peace and, peace and love, man. What did you reckon of the referee? Because I thought the referee was as dodgy as they can be, man. I thought Wales were not getting the rub of the green there. That last red card was a farce. Well, Wales had a good call for a penalty. I saw the referee giving an encouraging word to the Polish players as they were going up to take their penalty, going, you can do it, son, you can do it. Whereas Wales, ah, you shit, you shit. You're going to disappoint your country. That's what it was like, man. It was a, they, they're up against it, Wales. Authority was getting in the way. All these chicken South London stuff, innit? Oh, you're all going London on me now, aren't you? <laughs> well, it's like blending, innit? So we got... Hey, this is a conspiracy... Is it coincidence that we've got people from South London in and Wales? And I live in New South Wales. Ooh, conspiracy? I think not. In fact, no, I found that quite distracting while I was watching the game because there was adverts around the edge of the pitch for... South Wales University, and I kept on thinking, or University of South Wales. I kept on thinking, you spelt it wrong, you've missed the word out. But, <laughs> Mr. M, how are you, Paul? I'm, I'm good, man. I'm all right, man. Any adventures today? No, just got up, cup of coffee, watched a bit of football. Uh, I'm going to have a day off today. I'm gearing myself up for the long weekend. 
50 hours in four days. That's the that's the that's the plan. It's what we're going to do this weekend. Um, so hopefully Tottenham will win on the weekend because that usually stuffs me up for a day. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, Essex. Uh, oh, it's all merged, isn't it? It's all merged. London used to be like that big. Just that big. And now it's like... They've still got the green belt over there. The green belt. Remember that? Green belt. Supposed to stop London growing. <laughs> I think a few places just leaped out, leapt over the uh, green belt, didn't they? Like, I don't know. Bishop Stortford and places like that. A bit quiet. Let's liven it up. Let's see if the old debate crowd's in. What are they discussing today? Uh, oh, I know, the Tottenham Hotel. I hear there's murmurings about the Tottenham Hotel. Oh. They really don't like the new Tottenham Hotel, do they? Paul, who is your favourite football player ever? God, it would have to be Ozzy Ardiles, man, wouldn't it? Because that was my favourite Spurs player. But outside that, who do you like? Who do you like watching, eh? Who was always just good? Hmm. Aussie are dealers. <laughs> oh, there's loads of great footballers, man. That I can remember seeing. Um, let's think outside of England. I mean, the Brazil '82 team was full of them. Absolutely full of them. Holland have had their moments, but I didn't like the cut of their jib for some reason, mate, because they beat England. Um, oh, there's so many in there. There's so many, man. Who's your top, favourite Tottenham player? Ozzy Ardiles. Well, Scal, thanks, Pauls. Just not meant to be. Some promising players. The crowd sang all night long. They do. They sure did, man. They really gave it a good go, didn't they? But uh, Poland just tight, tightening the screws in the last five minutes. And uh, I don't know. I mean, Ben Davies, he, fair play to him, took the first penalty straight down the middle. <laughs> that could have that could have started going really badly, but he seemed to put in a good old shift, didn't he? And I thought when the when the when the match went to full time, I saw more Wales players standing up than the Polish players. The Polish players down on the ground, maybe a bit of cramp here and there. But I always think it sends a bit of a signal when players just don't sit down. Because your recovery time between sitting down and standing up isn't that much anyway. So just bloody stand up and suck it up. Puts a bit of uh, doubt into the other team. And I thought Wales did that. Not enough, though. Not enough. Unfortunately, not to be. Have a good day off. I certainly will, man. Certainly will. Me, my last, last day, last uh, day off for, for a wee while. Mr. M, when, when, not if, that's just when, isn't it? When, see where this question goes, when, when will you be putting your name down for the statue of Eric Dyer on the Tottenham High Road? Oh, you're assuming I, 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 I've never done, you're assuming I've not put my name down yet, man. I can neither confirm nor deny that I've signed any petition to that effect. It's confidential, isn't it? Confidential. I mean, I've, you know, there's other statues that we could put up as well. Vinny Samways, Bobby Mims, you know, <laughs> if we're going to put Eric Dyer up. <laughs> Yeah, I know, man, I know. I guessed it.
trying to find the bloody music I was listening to yesterday. It's on a different thing. Always on a different thing, isn't it? Where is it? Anyway, it's Buzzy. It's Wednesday today, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's only four more sleeps now. That's like barely half a week. Barely half a week to um, to Tot until Tottenham play Luton. So that's all right. Get some football down your throat. Ooh, it's quite night in this morning, isn't it? Or quite night, mate. It makes no sense at all, doesn't it? Time is it in England? Oh, it's 11 p.m., isn't it? Jacob's live as well, I can see. Kicking my ass in our viewing, in our ratings war. Ooh. Where was it? Where was it? I'm just trying to find something here. Where was it? The equals. Bloody hell, it's the equals. That's who I was listening to. Uh, Johnny Bethnal Green. Feels like years waiting for Spurs, I know, man. Uh, and then we, we, we haven't got any breaks or anything. That's, that's it now, isn't it? That's it. That's done. Let's have a look at Spurs fixtures. Let's see. Let's see what we've got ahead on us. Matches. So have a look here. So we got Luton. Oh, a few days later, midweek, we got West Ham. That's cool. And then we got, oh, we got like almost three games in a week. That's good. So that's three points, three points, three points. That's good. A few more days. Oh, we're playing games every other day. Newcastle on the 13th, three points. We don't know when we're playing Manchester City. Oh, there's a break. Bloody two-week break because of sodding Manchester City being boringly efficient. Bloody hell. Oh, well, we've got a month. We've got four fixtures in two weeks and then nothing. Nothing. Before we take on Arsenal. Take on Arsenal. And we got uh, we got Chelsea, so we got Chelsea and Manchester City to squeak in there someday. So what's the? Yeah, that's a week. That's a week. That's a week, and that's two days. So we're going to have to be playing. Oh, we this will play right into our hands. Playing so many games against uh, opposition that are knackered. That will play into our hands, guaranteed. Do, 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 do. Johnny Bethnal Green, yeah, going uh, going to get shitty, then go quiet. Then plenty of time for guitar. Oh yeah, bit bit bit, bit of guitar. I've got a little project I've got in my mind today that I want to do for the for the stream. Probably something I'll never get the chance to use, but I've got an idea and it's it'll stretch my brain a little bit in a good way. So that'd be good. Mr. M. Paul, remember I said to you about that film? They live, yes, yes, the other day. Have you seen Network? Oh, yeah, I've seen Network as well. Yeah, 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 Peter Finch. Yeah, 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 that's uh, that's an interesting one. I mean, it's, it's funny how, you know, th these films, they kind of, I don't know, sometimes they seem a bit dopey or a bit extreme at the time, but they know what they're talking about. Like, uh, Metropolis is a good film, man. Metropolis. 
think it's 1927, Fritz Lang. Uh, it's a silent film. Don't don't let that put you off. It is amazing, absolutely amazing. The stuff that's in that film that he couldn't have possibly have known about. Like they use kind of screens. There's a lot of screens, kind of. And this was like barely TV had barely been invented by then. And just the way the whole of society works in that film. In fact, Fritz Lang, after after the film was released, for many years afterwards, he didn't like the film because he thought he'd just gone a bit too far. But then it was only like in the 1950s where he really started liking it again because he realised that he hadn't gone too far <laughs> and it had kind of happened. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good film, Metropolis, man. It's on YouTube. On YouTube for, for free. Mr. M, I'm 37. Knew you would have seen it and liked it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a great movie. I haven't seen it for a couple of years. But, yeah, that's that's what the news is all about, isn't it, really? Why do I care what happens outside of my senses, you know? What am I going to do? <laughs> that's the way, well, that's the way we used to be before TV and radio. Things seemed to tick along all right. Didn't give a shit. Here we go. Adam McFarlane. G'day, Adam. Need to use Scarlet more. Maybe we will be. Who knows, man? Who knows? Who knows? There's a few people in the, propping up the chat now. Here we go. It's a mad film. It is. It's brilliant. Danny Reese, you mentioned the band The Shags. <laughs> I did, man. Well, I listened to them. <laughs> uh, you don't want to do that, man. <laughs> I nearly smashed my phone up. Yeah, I know. I think they were they were put together by someone's dad or something like that, and he was convinced they were going to be good. They never tuned their guitars. Then one of their songs is "My Friend Foot Foot" or something like that. Uh, Frank Zappa said they were better than the Beatles because I suppose he was into all like the deconstructionism of like pleasant sound. <laughs> yeah, no, they're bloody awful, eh? <laughs> Any news on Mickey? Well, I just had a look at something, uh, Adam, and it said um, uh, it was nah, no, nothing conclusive, nothing conclusive. It was just uh, rumours, probably April, something like that. Johnny Bethnal Green, I agree. Danny shaved my ears. But you know what? They They did an album. The Shags did an album. They got a record release and... Um, Hey, that's more than a lot of people have done, isn't it? I think they did a uh, a reunion tour as well. So, you know. Johnny Bethnal Green loves that, but I try, I, I try, but I can't. It, I, I've really tried. I really tried with Zappa. I just, it don't work for me, man. There's a couple of songs I like, but, you know, they're, they're the ones that sound like songs. The rest of it, I just find it a bit confusing to listen to. Uh, Adam McFarlane just came back from New York. Amazing place. Good to see a few times. I'm sure it's around. Really, it's in, um, in New York. I still see bugger all in Sydney, man, when I'm going around. Nothing. Nothing here. So, uh, I don't know. Might have to win a cup or something. I want a trophy. You know, be a bit like that. Richie B. G'day, Richie. We have the dragon Mick Mickley Conrezi up. Yeah, we do. We have the drag, Dragashin. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, type in. I know you're probably typing saying, ah, oh, don't worry about it. We've got the Dragashin, yes. Mickey can rest up. Oh, it's a lot better, isn't it? <laughs> it's a lot better. Whew. A lot better than uh, wheeling out some of those old characters. I am Spursicus. Oh, what? There he is. 
Match day is getting closer. Whoa, it's getting there, inching. Inching closer and closer, man. Starting to get... I don't know. No, I'm, I'm not starting to get excited yet. Because uh, I think... I, I just feel numb. Numb from lack of Tottenham Hotspur. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe when Angie's press conference comes out. I don't know when that is. I don't know if... You, are you playing Thursday night football in England these days? Probably Friday, isn't it? I'll probably have to wait till Friday during the day or something like that. Saturday morning before I see a bit of Ange and then I'll think, oh, then I'll start getting excited again. Johnny Bethnal Green, it's only last year I got into Zappa. He was far far out when I was a kid. Yeah, he's still too far out for me. I mean, I, I'm not saying he's crap or anything, but I just, uh... Craig the Gecko Man, Metropolis, one of my favourite films too. Excellent. Excellent. I could even play it up in the corner with no sound because it's public domain. It's brilliant. In fact, I pinched a bit for one of my things. Hang on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Trying to find something here. Hmm. Oh, well, I pinched it for this. I, I haven't got my camera on for this view, but in the back of this is a, is a scene from... Um Ah, see, this is Metropolis. Metropolis, everyone catching the train to work in the morning. That's what it is. Ah. Oof, there we go. Bit of reminiscing. Oh, and uh, what was the other film here? Sorry, hang on. Uh, the Sorcerer, you know what? This the, this film I've never heard of it until maybe last week it came up on my um, on my radar. It's what's his name, isn't it? The Exorcist guy, William Friedkin. Um, I haven't seen it. No, uh, it looks like one of those films I'd like, but I've got to be in the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's a remake of Wages of Fear. That was it. Wages of Fear is a great movie, actually. Bloody hell, that's a good old black and white foreign film if you like that sort of thing. Yeah, no, I, I, I just, um, yeah, came across that the other week, and it was like a, a film that Freakin really wanted to make, didn't get anywhere, but um, it's kind of people think it's one of his his best films now. So, yeah, it's on it's on my uh, it's on my vague radar at the moment. When I finish watching a bit more, I don't know, eighties and nineties schlock, and I feel like expanding my mind in a good way, in an artistic way, I might watch something like that. Paper Moon <clears throat> with with O'Neill. I probably yeah I have, but years ago, years ago. Don't know if that's one that I remember as being yeah Ryan and Tate and O'Neill. Yeah 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 yeah. They were like you know she was like you know ten years old or something like. That. She went on Oscar, the youngest Oscar winner, something like that. Um, yeah I don't know I don't know. Reminds me of my last workplace. I know man. That's what it's like. Getting a train in the morning. Oh, right, look at them. Ah, it's horrible. Horrible. Richie B, half asleep. Hey, that's not a bad way to be. Drifting in and out of worlds. Actually, I had a dream last night that wasn't a complete fucking nightmare. That was all right. I woke up and I thought, oh, that was fun. <laughs> often, I don't usually have, like, really good dreams. But luckily, I often know that I, I realise I'm dreaming and then I just start, oh, I'm dreaming and I'll just start flying around. So I have a bit of fun that way. Uh, typos are plenty. That's all right. Just going to bed when I know it's drawn. That's all right. 
typos is all right. What else is going on here? I can't see how long I've been going because the thing doesn't... The thing is not... <sighs> Spurzicus Metropolis was an accurate prediction of the future. Yeah, well, I suppose it was already happening... At that time, wasn't it? You know, the Industrial Revolution had been around, what, 150-odd years by then? That was the way it was all going. Way, and it's still going. Still going. Don't worry about it. It's all right. Richie B, keep up the good work. Enjoy Jacob's show with you and Coover. Yeah, I always have a laugh with uh, Jacob and Coover's cool. Good fun. Good fun. Bit of reminiscing about New York going on. I've no, I've only been to New York Airport, so uh, I'm a bit ignorant on all that. Apparently, you started forty minutes ago. That's cool because I can't somehow get rid of my taskbar at the bottom. Ugh. Taskbar settings. It's locked in. Try that. Did that work? No. Of course it doesn't. No. Can I drag it over the side? Yeah, I'll drag it over the side. That'll do. It looks stupid, though. Been going 42 minutes. All right. Must have been you believable. Don't know that. Um, Danny Reese, have you seen the film Dog Tooth? Ooh, that doesn't ring a bell. Let's have a look at that. Tooth. Film. Ooh, nah, that's not for me. Nah, 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 no. Nah. Because that sort of shit happens. That sort of shit happens, man. I don't no, I like I like I like horror when it's like when there's a supernatural element. Something fantastical. When it's all like real. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Paul is locked in. Paul, tell us a joke. I'm not your train chihuahua, mate. Davy Calvino. Hey Paul in the chat. Mr. M, Paul, who's your favourite comedian? Bloody hell, man. I'm not really into comedians these days. I don't know if any of them... I used to do, do a bit of stand-up comedy years and years ago. And I, I'm not saying I was any good, but it gives you a bit of an insight um, into, you know, how it works and whatnot. Like, I think Bill Burr's probably the funniest at the moment. I like Bill Burr. Um, but a lot of the others, there's a lot of shit around. There's a lot of shit where they're just trying to be... You know, all this, oh, I've been cancelled, bollocks, absolute bollocks. Oh, I've been cancelled. I can only say that in this sellout 10,000-seat arena. They won't let me say anything. All the crowd is there. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. I've been cancelled. I've been cancelled. You can't say anything these days. It's all that. So I like silly humour. But there's not a lot of that around at the moment. Tommy Cooper's pretty funny. Richie B, did you see the Romero comments? No, that'll give me something to talk about. Thanks, Richie B. Romero, what's he said? News. We can convince the start of the next season to play in the Olympics. What? Is this what we're talking about? What? 
Play for Charles Rose in the Olympics. What? I don't understand. Oh, well, that'll do for that update. Cross that bridge when we get there. Spursicus. Ooh. I had a vision last night. Rare for me these days. The old power's waning a bit, is it? Sonny was laughing and holding up a cup. Bloody hell, man. <laughs> we'll have some of that. I don't care if it is. Delusional. You saw it with your own mind. Couldn't see what cup it was, though. Oh, bit of mystery still. Cup of tea. No, it was silver. Was it silver? Was it silver? Was it silver? It wasn't like... Yeah, it wasn't like that, was it? Mr. M. Paul is Wolf Creek. Uh, you see, it's another film that's not for me, man. Because shit like that does happen. Not, you know, there's been a couple of cases. But, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. It's too, it's too, it's too, you know, I like vampires and dumb shit, you know. Johnny Bethnal Green, don't trust Danny Reese and film choices. Yeah, I'm not that. That looked, that looked horrible. Why would I, why would I, when I'm trying to relax, watch that? But hey, you know, some people, each to their own. Richie B Spurs, because he was the premier trophy, I reckon. <sighs> Teacup. Spurs, because I've got an old joke. Here we go. What ex-Premier League player's name? This better not be putting me in somewhere in, in trouble here. What ex Premier League player player's name sounds like a posh bloke saying yes, yes tomorrow? Yaya Toure. Yaya Toure. Tomorrow, Toure. Yaya Toure. The more I say it, I can't make it. I don't. <laughs> well, probably a few people laughing at the moment. I don't know what. Yeah. Coffee cup. Ah, oh, dude. Dude. Mr. M, I like the old comedians. Jethro, don't remember him. Bob Monkey, I say, oh, he could be Mike fu a bit funny. Mike Reed, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run around. That's what I remember about Mike Reed before he just went all, you know, all that down that path in his life. But Bob Monkey, of course, coincidence? I think not that I've got that. Right next to, on my soundboard. Two massive coincidences this morning. Who would have thought? Adam McFarlane, The Place Beyond the Pines. Great film, Ryan Gosling. Oh, God, that's, I don't like his face. He's a bit, you know, place beyond. Are we getting all highfalutin here, are we? I'm not a highfalutin kind of cinema man, you know. Oh, hang on. Motorcycle stunt rider turns into robbing banks. Ooh. Pride for his ex and his newborn. I'll tell you what, man. That sounds all right to me. Never heard of it. Who's uh, directed? Derek Clan France. Don't know him. So we'll look. What's he done? I mean, just the title, it sounded like, you know, some Wes Anderson. Ugh. But uh, what's he done? What's he done? Known for Blue Valentine, Place Beyond the Pines, Light Between the Oceans, The Sound of Metal. Don't know any of these. Place Beyond the Pines. That could be a possibility, that one. Thank you very much. Richie B, yeah, he's keen to play in the Olympics and the competition will finish a week before league restarts. Well, he wants to play international football for Argentina, maybe get a, a gold medal and a World Cup at medal at the same time. He was wearing a Spurs kit. He always wears a Spurs kit, man. 
fully coys. Joke doesn't work, pal. Yeah, I, I, mate, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. It's the way you tell them. <laughs> Mr. M. Well, he found it funny. Yeah, it's my delivery, isn't it? What was it? Was it a goon's joke? English man, you know, First World War, English officer says to an Australian, we came here to die. And the Australian says, we came here yesterday. <laughs> Johnny Bethnal Green, man, I just took pill, burp, burp, fart, didn't cough, still got it, full body control, just hemming it all in. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I don't know, we're getting on here. I don't know, man. We're verging on dangerous territory here. I know it's a big old line and you know we're near it, but I start getting nervous. Because, <laughs> you know, people see jokes and they'll think, all right, well, I've got one. And it'd be, Ugh. the fuck? Intermission. No, you're right, you're right. No, no. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? I might do I might do a quick one today. I've got uh, I've got a project in my head that I want to get done for um Look, I mean, you know, it, it look it helps a look. It helps a bit. I can't deny it. It helps a bit. But, you know, <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> Give my camera a boot in the date here. I mean, it help, might help you, but it, it's not going to help me, is it? It's not going to help me. I'm the one who's here with my asses on my arm with a microphone and everything. Roll me one, Kenobi. Hey, Hotspur Hippie. G'day, man. How you going? How you going? What's pink and fluffy? Pink fluff. What's blue and fluffy? Pink fluff holding its breath. <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, see, daft jokes. I like daft, daft jokes. Johnny Bethnal Green's on Basque Cockney Irish, so I'm white, black, white. Nah, man, you're all right. <laughs> We've come back from the edge. <laughs> I have anyway. <laughs> oh, no, man, I don't, I've forgotten silly jokes. How long have we been going? So I say, because I can't see all my thing. Hang on, let's go down here. There we go. 53 minutes. Blimey. Who'd have thought? Mystery. Oh, yeah, I noticed that I can do, like, emoticons and things for this channel. I don't know if anyone's into that or if I can be asked, but it's a thought I might have. I just got to think of what icons to put in the thing. I don't know, man. Roll me one, Kenobi. If you, uh, if you, Hotspur Hippie, have you decided on a price for uh, Poro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I say, if you want, um, if you want, I can do you a, a job lot, man. Job lot. You can have Poro. Ben, it's like half a squad I'm giving you, man. Poro, Ben Davies, Emerson Roy Royale. Um, you can have Lachelso, midfield maestro. Um, you can have um, Pierre-Emil Hoybier. You can have him as well. 
And you can have Ollie Skip. That's six players, man. Six players. What do I want in return? Let me see. Let's get Haglin here. Because, I mean, your, your squad needs a bit of a refresh, doesn't it? So I'm giving you the opportunity to, uh, you know, build for the future. So I'm giving you six players there, don't you forget. Oh, yeah, we'll have Jude Bellingham. Yeah, oh, we'll have Modric back. What the hell? Don't want to rob you. Um... Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo, uh, don't know. Look, Jude Bellingham, Luka Modric, £200 million, and you can have that. You can have those. How's that sound, man? How's that sound? That's a good deal. Good deal, man. Oh, and Don Belly, chuck him. Yeah, we chuck him for a quid. Chuck him in for a quid. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is, this is it. Quality hour now. Richie B, what do you call a man with a spade? Doug. What do you call a man who's lost his spade? Douglas. What do you call a man with three lumps of wood on his head? Edward Woodward. Six for Pan Romford. Steve Davis country. Hey, future music. Peace, brother. Good vibes for everyone here for me now. Look, I'm getting super excited over this Korg Wave state, man, because because the software I'm controlling this with, it's got it, I can you know do all sort of MIDI stuff. So I'm thinking as well as having this controller here and a keyboard. I mean, this maybe not for this stream, but you could link music music directly into visuals and things straight. It'd be cool. Be cool. So I'm thinking about it. Johnny Bethnal Green. Do the icons like Jeff Minter? Oh, now we're talking. Llama Soft. Jeff Minter, C64 days. Toilets and camels and C&D signs. Yeah, man. Now you're talking. Before we went all legit with Iridis Alpha. Yes. What a crazy guy Jeff Minter is. Roll me one, Kenobi. We do need to try our squad a bit. Perfect opportunity. Oh, yeah, Cessignon. Cessignon, yeah, we'll, we'll chuck him in, you know. That's just that's just for you, Robbie Wan Kenobi. What you do with him is up to you. Johnny Bethnal Green, yeah, Bellingham is machine, I know. That's why we're having him. Brahim Diaz, Mendy and Rodrigo, we could be selling in the summer, so let's negotiate. Yeah, one Pedro Porro. Mr. Thizface. Sup with bro? It's, uh, it's up. David Calvino, Ted Ditchburn used to have a sports shop in Romford when I was a kid. Oh, well, Perry, Steve Perryman was the sports shop of choice for me. Branches all over West London. He was never there, though. He was never there. He, although he said when, when I had him on stream, he used to do like two weeks in one of the shops every year and he hated it. <laughs> Mr. Thizface, ready for this break to be over? I know, man. Spurs win. Let's get that feeling, you know. Bit of this. Where is it? I've pressed the button for so long. I don't know where it is anymore. Bit of this. Bit of this for the other side. None of this. That'd be a good game. Fifty-nine minutes. All right. Well, we might. Um, I think. I think that's it. That's that's respectable, isn't it? I tell you what. I think Jacob's streaming. So, if I can figure out how to. Uh, Seamlessly hand you over to him. That would work, wouldn't it? Oh, 
doesn't it show up in my list? Is he not live? Oh. Anyone else? Anyone else doing Tottenham stuff? No. Ah, oh, well, that's that then, isn't it? Bloody hell. Okay, well, you're going to find your own entertainment. So, look, let's see any more comments here. Romy one Kenobi, you doggy Porro and Sarah, I'd like to have at Madrid, maybe throw in Basuma to replace Cruz when he retires. And we and what do we get? What what's this seems a bit one sided. Mr. M, when will our money money we spend correlate to actual marquee signing? I don't know, man. Don't know. <laughs> Hopefully maybe this summer. I don't know. Question mark. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know if that's what we're in the business of doing or not, man. You know, I think we've got a pretty good team. Little bit of jigsaw puzzle pieces. And uh, I think we'll all get there. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to start my little project. So um, thanks for popping in, folks. Just a quick stream this morning. Thanks for everyone who's commented, who kept it going. Thanks for watching. If you've clicked like and subscribe, that's cool. If you haven't, well, you know, what can I do? Hey, that's all right. You're still watching. If you're watching it afterwards, I hope you've had a bit of fun. Till next time, folks. Peace and love, man. Peace and love and come on, you Spurs.